If you're looking for a modern day equivalent to the Holocaust, why reach all the way back to eating meat or climate change while you're just <laughs> avoiding the people who want to exterminate all the Jews today? Surely the people who have the eradication, the extermination of all Jews in their charter would be more appropriate. <laughs> Question of the day. We're going to get to AOC's recent concentration camp comparison in a bit. But before yeah. we do, what do you find to be the most, I hate to use the word, offensive example <laughs> of leftists using the Holocaust uh, as a reference point in order to, to, to push their agenda? There's been more than a few examples. Uh, we'll actually get to the top five examples. But before I do that, again, comment below. I just, I really want, which one sticks out in your mind, if any at all? Or is it always fun? Just compare everything to the Holocaust. I don't know the rules anymore. So uh, before <laughs> we get true. to the top five examples, let's provide some context here. Ocasio-Cortez news again, claiming the United States has concentration camps like Nazi Germany. Here you go. The United States is running concentration camps on our southern border. Congress and that really <laughs> exactly what uh, Sleepover? Congress <laughs> I don't. First off, what's on her, what does her shirt say? Does it say, Do you, what was it again? Yeah. Is it rematriate, no. rematriate, the, rematriate the land? Rematriate the land. That's what I thought it said. And I really? That's, like, rematriate is about a spiritual healing and returning. Like, she just has oh. a bullshit thesaurus that she references. <laughs> rematriate the land. land. Anyway, that's naturally, something that five people believe in that I can wear a t-shirt for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. That's how I get votes. So, Jew yeah. Jewish groups have naturally have slammed her for the comparison. This comes yeah. from the Jewish News Syndicate. They said there's a long tradition of members of Congress saying dumb things. Nevertheless, AOC's comments belong in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Cortez, awesome. <laughs> of course, quadrupling down in her comments, stating that, quote, critics need to open a history book like she has, uh, which yep. don't oh, quite Oh, my yeah. gosh. For people yeah. listening, <laughs> you're going to want to see that one. <laughs> um, you want to go back to the tape? Roll the tape. out a little Mel bit. watching this. I knew it. I knew that should have been in the syllabus you want it to be. So... <laughs> First, let's just, before we get to the five examples yeah, of, yeah. of liberals comparing, uh -huh. I don't even go comparing, just using the Holocaust as a reference point. General yes. rule of thumb, don't do it. Uh, <laughs> if you're looking like, when should I go? Never. When should I try and steal Holocaust space? The good rule of thumb is never, ever, ever, <laughs> yes. ever, ever do it. Uh, okay. So first, these aren't Americans being rounded up and put into a camp. Let's right. go through yeah. the reasons this is a false comparison. These people are willingly coming to seek asylum. And by the way, it's kind of strange how people are lining up to get into our concentration camps in <laughs> record numbers. Yeah. Caravans. Yeah. Yeah. They travel thousands of miles just to get into our concentration camps. It's Try finding different. that at Auschwitz. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't happen. <laughs> Loading yeah. up the kids into the Prius to go on down to Warsaw. Okay, this, if this, uh, if this, by the way, something else you need to understand, if they don't qualify for asylum, they're sent back. So they're awaiting yeah. a trial to see if they are actually seeking asylum. There's no comparison. But she's not even unique right here in her wild, crazy Holocaust <laughs> analogies. They've been doing it for a while. So let's go through the top five examples. Uh, number five that sticks out in my mind is um, Keith Ellison's claim. Do you remember this? That, and this is why it's so relevant to AOC, that illegal immigrants were like Jews fleeing the Holocaust. Thus, we have to give them sanctuary. Wow. Yeah. Three million DACA recipients live with someone who is a citizen of the United States. And if you ask yourself, what would I do if I was a Gentile in 1941, if my Jewish neighbors were under attack by the by, by the Nazis, my God. would I give them some to you? <laughs> you I like to hold up to five people in the face. What you would do? Really? Will you pass that moral test? Okay. Uh, by the way, this is important <laughs> because you know who else made this comparison? Alexandria Ocasio Nino Pinto Santa Maria Cortez. Oh. Yeah. So oh, the oh, United wow. States yeah. is like Nazi Germany. Also, Mexico is like Nazi Germany. <laughs> huh. Everywhere is Nazi Germany Day. <laughs> now, oh. Number four, as far as an example, Governor Jerry Brown uh, made the claim that fighting Climate change, if, I, if I'm not this mistaken is, with the clip. I, I don't know how this is right, number one. What a is comparison. Like, is like fighting, like this is a kid playing dress up. Pew, pew, climate change, it's just like fighting the Nazis. Take that red skull, watch, he says it. It took Roosevelt many, many years to get America uh, willing to go into World War II and fight the Nazis. Well, we have a, an enemy, okay. uh, though different, but mm -hmm. perhaps right. uh, very much devastating in a similar way, and we gotta fight climate change, similar. and the president's gotta lead on that. Such a hot take. Right. About as hot as the Holocaust. He says, different, oh. but very similar. <laughs> right. What? I don't oh. even know what to do with this. The, the man, governor, fearing the CO2 Reich. I don't know what you do with it. By the way, it's just a bunch of aerosol cans with armbands who just salute. Yeah. I don't even know how they do it. Exactly. And Chuck Todd. They salute with a little straw that comes in that you can never fit into the tip of the can that you're supposed to use so it's more of a nozzle. <laughs> 
I'm getting some. This is the level of co- quality content you can expect from us. Today. <laughs> exactly. But it's this huge false premise that Chuck Todd set up too. He's saying basically that climate change is causing all the fires in California. Yeah. Everything well. is caused. It's not the guy who blew up a gender reveal well, thing you know and who, started the fire in the first place. You know who started climate change. Himmler. So the third example, <laughs> Julia Louis Dreyfus. So long ago. So yeah. long ago. She made the claim that Donald Trump, uh, that his anti-Semitic rhetoric will literally cause a second slaughter of, and I have a clip oh, of this. Good of, Lord. You guessed it, the Jews. Donald Trump, you are the president of all citizens of this country. Correct. Okay. You must yeah. not inflame the hatred of some at the violent expense of others. We've seen Jews we subjected go. to persecution, prejudice, wow. and bum, mass bum, bum, bum. murder for thousands <laughs> of years. You also had people that were very fine people on both sides. In memory of the 11 oh. people we'll get to that who clip. lost their lives at their place of worship, we call on the president to unequivocally denounce fascism, neo-Nazism, and white nationalism. Uh, that's enough. That clip's about as unbearable Golly. as the Holocaust. Someone turn oh. me into soap. <laughs> <laughs> Insensitive comparisons, people. I hope you understand the subtext. <laughs> Watch, people are going to be like, you're making insensitive Holocaust comparisons. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> now, notice they use oh, a clip point. from Trump saying very five oh. people. They apply it to neo-Nazis. This is a perfect example where some people say, like, yeah. well, you edited me out of context. And you go, oh, let's expand it. And it's exactly in context, like Vox or John Oliver. Yeah. This is a perfect example. They literally trimmed the clip where he specifically said he was not talking about neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and they should be expressly condemned. Don't take my word for it. You had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, Same because conference. they should be condemned totally. What was that? Support white nationalists? Oh. Mexican skin lampshades? Is that what I heard? I'm pretty sure I heard brown skinned lampshades. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, example number two, this is one that I, I don't even know uh, how to, again, you tell me which example, I'm sure I'm missing some here. Mm. Colorado Commissioner um, uh, Diane Rice claimed that the, a Christian baker not wanting to bake cakes due to some, something slavery, something, something Holocaust. <laughs> Freedom of religion and religion has been used to justify all kinds of discrimination throughout history, whether it be slavery, whether it be the Holocaust, I'm sorry, whether what? it be... Did they I record mean, this on a potato? We, we can list hundreds <laughs> of situations where freedom of religion has been used you to justify you discrimination. Two. And to me, it go. is one of I love the she conflates religion most and freedom of religion. Right. of rhetoric that people can use to uh, oh, this is, I'm <laughs> sorry, I just want to show the clip for context. Like that, the done, the done, point just, she's making is about as half-baked yeah. as Hitler's mm. eugenics program, commonly <laughs> referred to as the Holocaust. <laughs> I'm here all night, people! <laughs> Hitler making insensitive comparisons! I just want to make sure you understand yeah. the context here. So she says it conflates <laughs> religion and context, religion has been used for all oh, kinds yeah. of justifications. And then she says freedom of religion. No, hold on a second. Yeah. Religion has been falsely or or truly, authentically, as in the case of uh, religions like Islam or the Ra'elians, yeah. aliens, right? Where they actually justify violence through their religious code of conduct. But let's let's give them the benefit of the doubt, right? Their religion has been used as um, a tool to try and manipulate people, of course, to commit violent acts. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But the freedom of religion hasn't. <laughs> freedom of religion. By the way, what, what was singularly responsible for ending slavery in the Western hmm. world? What could that be? Modern Christendom. Oh, you can that's look right. at, at, at Washington. You could look at Jefferson, at people who wanted to free their slaves and weren't able to. I understand. Slavery went on for a long time before that. Yeah. Now, it wasn't justified through Christendom, but the people who were opposed to it. And a lot of people say this when they talk about uh, where we get our morals from. And you hear this a lot from moral relativists. They go, well, I don't need some flying spaghetti monster to uh, tell me that I shouldn't murder or steal. Okay, what about mercy? What about not cheating on your wife? What about not beating your wife? These are all virtues only in the modern Christian realm. Yeah. They don't exist. When you talk about not stealing, some Native American tribes did that all the time. They didn't believe in the concept of personal property, including your wife. <laughs> Number one example, <laughs> Natalie Portman. I could have picked uh, anyone, but I just really hated Black Swan. I just hated it so okay. much that I had to sit through it. And <laughs> that was enough. on a flight, and I'm Ooh, still whoa. mad about it. <laughs> That's bad. PETA, uh, Natalie Portman eating meat is just like the... Just a real clue. The experience appears in his novel, Shosha, Shosha. in which the narrator Shosha. laments, we do to God's creatures what the Nazis did to us. Just like they, Auschwitz. And it's yeah. just mm. remarkable what? to me. First off, are we not God's creatures? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. So it seems to me like, why do we delineate that only animals are God's creatures? I, I'm sorry, did they eat the Jews? 
They didn't I eat honestly the have, Jews. I, I, I'm sure. You, let's just not get into that. Okay. I'm yeah, sorry. I want to avoid just, that completely. I didn't <laughs> want to open <laughs> that can of worms. We can talk about that. But introducing new information, just they're going to hold against me. Okay. I'm just trying to understand. I'm just saying. What you can never world? understand the atrocities that humanity has committed against itself. Have you done the research? Like making black swan. I don't know what Aronofsky was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's, <laughs> if you were really this troubled by the Holocaust, this is something I don't understand with the left, okay? Please let me know. I could just be going out on a limb here. Just take the journey with me, and then you can saunter on back inside if you don't like it. Yeah. There is a group, though of people today who've explicitly said that they want to wipe Jews off the face oh. of the earth, okay? And they're actively seeking to do that today. Hamas, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. But all the people mm. we're talking they love the Palestinians, they hate Israel. Nat uh, Natalie Portman, I know, I know people talk about her Jewish heritage. She boycotted the uh, awards in Israel. Keith Ellison, buddies with Louis Farrakhan. Gaza Cortez supports the BDS movement. I think people need to understand this. Now, I know that we can <laughs> you can argue that being critical of Israel is different than being anti-Semitic or a Nazi. Right. I agree. Of, of course. course, fine. Yeah. Especially if you can talk about maybe their undue influence in American elections, or you look at some of our relationships and some of the alliances that we have because of their relationship with Israel. I can understand it. You want to get into Saudi Arabia? Fine. But if you're looking for a modern day equivalent to the Holocaust, why reach all the way back to eating meat or climate change while you're just <laughs> avoiding the people who want to exterminate all the Jews today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> surely, surely the people who have the eradication, the extermination of all Jews in their charter would be more appropriate <laughs> than fighting climate change. I, I don't, I, I don't yeah. know. By the way, not just Hamas, almost every Islamic country's yeah. government, yeah. pretty much all of them. If you look at what they believe, comparing it to what the Nazis believed, and by the way, let's let's not even get to the, the unsavory historical ties between Nazi Germany and a lot of the Islamic nations at that point when they created these unholy yeah. alliances, but if you look at what they believe today, a lot of these uh, heads of Islamic-run governments and what the Nazis believed as it relates to the Jews, they're borderline identical. These people today, radical Islamists, they're just Nazis who beat their wives, and I don't know why we aren't talking about it more. Hey, YouTube viewer, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy one of these other videos that are playing in boxes. I don't really get to pick them. That's up to my editors. Or I highly recommend, of course, that you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, or join Mug Club at ladderwithcutter.com slash mug club. This is actually the very same mug that Vox recently accused of being, quote, racist. Inanimate object. Mug. Vox. Billion dollar company. Racist mug. Check it out. See what, see, see what it's about. Make your own decision.